What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna be dropping my top five builds in NBA 2K24. Now, listen, I'm sitting here thinking about how long 2K24 has been out, and you know what I'm saying? We still have five months until 2K25. We still have five months until 2K25. That is cr yo, I don't know if I can be consistent for five more months, so we still got a good chunk of time until 2K25. So I think it's the perfect time to drop my top five builds in NBA 2K24. We got like two way point centers. Like there's a lot of cool builds in this top five that you should definitely consider making. But you know what I'm saying? Before we get to the builds, before I show off my top five builds, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn on that noti bell so you never miss a video, a short, a live stream. And if you're one of the first people to comment noti gain, or Nodi Squad, I will be giving you a shout out just like these people right here. Just a little shout out for Coaster Army. Appreciate y'all boys a lot. And without further ado, let's get straight into these top five builds. Let's go. Quick disclaimer, there'll be no gameplay in today's video. And the reason for that is because each build in today's video has its own build video. So if you see a build that you like and you want to maybe make it, go check out the video for that build just to make sure because Nowadays, bro, builds on 2K cost like $100. So I wanna make sure y'all are 100% sure you wanna make a build. So if you see a build that you like, it's definitely gonna be on the channel if you wanna go check out the full build video. But I've done enough talking. Let's get to build number one. With build number one, we're gonna be talking about the two-way slashing playmaker. Now this build is very similar to the Demigod two-way slashing playmaker from 2K20. This build could do everything, finish, shoot, dribble, pass, and play defense. It could literally do everything. You're, you guys are going to really like this build. I ain't going to lie. This might be one of, if not my favorite build on today's list. Starting off with position, it's going to be a power forward. Now with position, a lot of times I change this around because I want to get a certain name. I know a lot of you guys don't really care about like the build name, but... You know, so I, I look you like having like two way slash and playmaker. I like having a cool build name. So a lot of time the position is based on it. The reason I make each position the way it is, is for like a different build name. All my positions for my builds have a reason. This one being, if you're a point or if you're a power forward, you'll get the two way slash and playmaker name. But this build plays more like a point guard. But if you make this build a point guard, you will not get the two way slash and playmaker name. So. We're gonna be making this a power forward, 6'7", 220 pounds with a max wind span. Make sure you copy these physicals exactly how they are. For the attributes, I think I'm gonna start maxing out the physicals first, just so we can see all the badges. Usually in my build videos, I start with like finishing or something, but I'm gonna max out the physicals first. So for speed, you have an 85 speed, so you're very, very fast on defense acceleration you get 73 for like silver blow by for strength you only have a 50 this is one of the few builds that i have with a lower strength so it's very unfortunate that you only have a 50 strength but once you see all the attributes you are truly a demigod other than strength you're really not lacking in any other position so or any other attribute so 50 strength 75 vertical and a 99 stamina so now that we have the physicals done the badges should show up when we're going through the attributes. Starting off with driving dunk, you have an 88 driving dunk. This is more than enough to get contact dunks, get very good dunk packages, and all around, the finishing on this build is very, very solid. Standing dunk, move this up to a 40 just so you get one of the standing dunk animations. The one at 45 is not as good as the standing dunk animation at 40, so we're gonna leave it at 40. Now for the close shot, it's gonna be a 57. This is gonna move up when we touch the mid range. That's why I'm moving in now. But moving on to the shooting, you have an 87 mid range. That way you get the Tracy McGrady jump shot. And if you don't know, Tracy McGrady base is one of the best jump shot bases in the game. It will turn like the worst player into a, a sharpshooter. Like that jump shot is crazy. But for the three pointer, you get a 76 for that bronze age at three. Now moving on to playmaking, you get an 87 pass accuracy for bronze bailout. You also get badges like needle threader on silver, diamond on silver. So you throw very good passes. You get good pass animations. Now for the ball handle, move this up to an 87. So you get the Kemba Walker escape moves and the Tyrese Halliburton behind the back. 
move the speed ball up to a 75 so you get badges like blow by all silver speed booster all silver hyper drive all silver all around you get very good playmaker badges most of them are silver you get ankle breaker on gold but this build does move very well you are very fast and you can combo up really well in this build so you could finish you could shoot and you could pass and dribble you know what i'm saying all around this build is a demigod and we haven't even gotten to the defense yet so for the perimeter defense you're gonna have a 90 perimeter defense you pair that with the fact that you have an 85 speed on defense you know what i'm saying you're gonna be hawking bro. like you're really gonna give people some problems for the tier defense you have a 75 just so you can play some interior defense and you also have an 87 block so this build can not get snatch blocks you know what i'm saying you can't get a lot of blocks on this build so you play a good perimeter defense good interior defense and you have a little block on you unfortunately you don't have a steal but a lot of my builds don't really have steals because steals are like rng like at that point you're just praying that you get a steal you're just spamming your square button a lot of my builds don't rely on the square button you know say like we don't spam over here so if you're a spammer you're probably not gonna like this build but i mean like look at this build like this build right here is a beauty bro like look 88 drive and dunk 87 mid-range 87 pass act 87 ball handle 90 perimeter 87 block high speed like all the round like this build is amazing and as you can see two-way slash and playmaker with shades of jason tatum you know what I'm saying this build is definitely plays like jason tatum you know what i'm saying like this is a jason tatum like build but hope you guys enjoyed the first build now we're gonna jump straight into the second build let's go next up on the list we're gonna be talking about my slash and playmaker because first we talked about my two-way slash and playmaker now we're gonna check out the slash and playmaker this build is very popular on my channel and you know i say when i posted this build y'all really liked it so i'm gonna repost it in my top five list starting off with power forward is the position y'all already know i already explained why i choose my position so power forward for the position 6 8 215 pounds with a 7 2 wind span make sure you copy everything like it is on the screen now this build is like my two-way slash and playmaker with less defense and more offense you know what i'm saying so just think about my slash and playmaker with more offense and less defense you know what i'm saying so start off with drive and dunk you get a 94 drive and dunk on this build. Wait, 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 hold up. I'm tripping. Let me do my physicals real quick. 99 stamina, 82 vertical. This is another build with the 50 strength. The other builds have some strength on it. 73 acceleration, 82 speed, and that's gonna do it for the physical. So you have a high vertical, high stamina, you know what I'm saying? 73 acceleration for that blow by and an 82 speed. But back up to the finishing. Let me just finish all the finishing stats real quick. 60 close shot, 74 layup, 94 driving dunk, and a 42 standing dunk. Now, this build could finish way better than my two-way slash and playmaker. Now, my two-way slash and playmaker, it finishes well. It finishes good. I enjoy using that build, obviously. But this right here, if you want to get elite contact dunks, you want to abuse the dunk meter, you want to be a cheeser, then this is definitely the build for you. This build catches some of the most rare contact dunks in the game i mean just look at the badges gold posterizer hall of fame slithery gold precise dunker gold aerial wizard and then all these badges i mean now for the shooting you get a 90 min range now the other build has an 87 but this one has a 90 so you get like hall of fame open looks gold mini magician you just get way better badges like gold blinders so and the three pointer is a 77 i mean you could keep it at a 76 but for the build it's a 77 in the free throw is a 65 so this is gonna do it for the shooting now for the playmaking you get an 80 pass accuracy not an 87 like the last one but 80 pass accuracy is still very solid you get an 85 ball handle with the 85 ball handle you still get very good six like the jamal murray behind the back um you don't get kemba walker which is unfortunate but this build is 6 8 the last one was 6 7 so this build is slightly taller but you still get very good six Speed ball, 75 for the LeBron James dribble style. Now for the defense, you get a 61 interior defense. You get an 85 perimeter. And you get a 91 
steal. I messed up something. One, one second. Let me let me let me fix this. I think the, the rebound and move this down. So yeah, you get 91 steal. So the defense on this build is not bad. It's just a little different from the last one. This one, you have a 85 perimeter, which is less than the last one. So it's not a two-way, but you have a 91 steal. So instead of getting blocks and playing good defense, this build right here relies on getting steal. So if you didn't like the last build and you wanted some, another build with more offense and a, a high steal, this is the build for you. This slash and playmaker is a really good build. I mean, look at the stats, bro. You get a 94 driver dunk, a 90 midi, a 91 steal. Like, this build all around is a demi god. And as you can see, you have built the slashing playmaker. Hey, this is another really fun build that I guarantee you will enjoy playing on. Let's hop into the third build for today's video. For the third build, this is for my people who just want to play offense. You're allergic to playing defense you want nothing to do with defense you just want to go drop every single point shoot over people shoot from half court you know what i'm saying this is for my people who just want to play offense my small guards my my stage guards this is a perfect build for you because this build right here is a god on offense like once you can see the attributes it's actually crazy but starting off y'all make this build a point guard 6'4 184 pounds I now move the wingspan down to a 6'5 because this build does have a high three-pointer. I'll say you're a straight shooter, sharp shooter, and make sure you copy all the physicals like they are on the screen. We're gonna start off with the physicals real quick. 99 stamina, 62 vertical, 31 strength. This is a small guard, you're not gonna really need a high strength. 92 speed for Hall of Fame speed booster with the 77 acceleration. And also this will help on defense. I know I've been saying this build does not really play that good defense, but a 92 speed is gonna make you very fast off ball and on defense, so it will help a little bit. But now that we have the physicals done, let's start off with the shooting. You know what I'm saying? This build does have good finishing, but we're gonna start off with the shooting. You have a 97 three-pointer. This will give you the best jump shots in the game by far. You get agent three on gold, Blinders Hall of Fame. This build is, or not this build, this badge right here is broken. You could shoot like over people, it's crazy. You get Dead Eye on gold, Limitless Range on gold, Hall of Fame can just shoot, Hall of Fame Green Machine, Hall of Fame Guard Up, Hall of Fame Space Crater. So you get almost every badge on Hall of Fame, if not gold. Now for the mid range, you have 84. So you get gold mini magician, just in case the three point is not open or it's not there, you could always take a mini. So the shooting on this build, you get the best jump shots and the best badges. And I'll say, what more can you ask for? And for the free throw, move this up to a 94. This is for all the people who play rec, all the people who play pro am, so you hit your free throws. Overall, the shooting on this build is a 10 out of 10. Now for the finishing, nothing crazy. It's gonna seem like it's nothing, it's not a lot, but you get an 80 drive and layup and that's it. An 80 drive and layup will give you a few good badges like gold float game, hall of fame pro touch, Goal Stooper and like Goal Giant Slayer. You're gonna be able to finish very consistently. And with the 80 driving layup, you get the Trey Young layup style. So finishing on this build is very good. It's, it's not like the best, but it's enough to get the job done. Now for the pass accuracy, you're gonna have 80 pass ac. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be doing all the scoring, but if you need to pass the ball, the 80 pass accuracy is more than enough to get it to your teammates. For the ball handle, you have a 95 ball handle. So you get to see Francis size up and like look at the badge let me let me move the speed with ball up to a 91 for the Kyrie Irving dribble style but just look at the badges Hall of Fame handles for days gold killer combos Hall of Fame speed booster gold unpluckable like this build is crazy I ain't gonna lie this build be moving at 6-4 you have Hall of Fame speed booster and a 97 three-pointer this build is crazy for the defense you have a 62 perimeter defense and a 55 interior defense you know, nothing crazy, but you also have a 51 block, and that's gonna give you just enough to maybe get a stop or two. You know, if you get stuck under the paint and you have like a 55 interior and a 51 block, you might get a stop if you jump at the right time. 62 perimeter, so you could maybe stay in front of the defender, but 
this build is by no means a defensive player. It's all about offense. You get the best dribble moves, all the fame speed booster, 97 three pointer, the best jump shots, like three point shot hunter. Now it, it didn't pop up yet, but as you can see, three point shot hunter, because that's what you're gonna be doing. On this build, you'll be hunting threes. You'll be, you know what I'm saying? Nothing but threes, bro. You're gonna be shooting it from half court without takeover. If you wanna have fun on the offensive side, this build is definitely for you, for all my small guards. Now, because last build was all about offense, I think it's only right I show you my pure lockdown. This is my build. Like, if I just wanna ruin someone's day, I just wanna spam someone. I just want to make them throw their controller, play, like this build plays crazy defense. The defense on this build is absolutely crazy. If you want to be, you know what I'm saying, a menace to society, because this build is a defensive menace. It literally has menace in the name. So if you want to be a menace to society, make this build. This is my pure lockdown. Starting off, you want to make him a shooting guard, 6'7", 233 pounds with a max wind span of 7.4. So make sure you copy the physicals just like how they are on the screen. All right, so starting off, let's do the physicals real quick. 99 stamina, 80 vertical, so we get chase out artists on gold. 90 strength, so we get immovable enforcer on gold, brick wall on gold. Now for the acceleration, we're gonna move this up to a 77 with the 85 speed. Now a lot of you guys ask why I have an acceleration or a high acceleration on a lockdown build. If you don't know, fast feet requires acceleration. So with the 77 acceleration, I'm pretty sure we get fast feet on gold or hall of fame, but we'll find out very shortly because starting off with the defense, we have a 94 perimeter. Now with the 94 perimeter, you get clamps on gold, clamps on gold paired up with immovable enforcer on gold is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. That's like two versions of clamps. So when you're bodying someone up, they're gonna, bro, it's gonna get bad, bro. Like people are gonna hate you on this build or the other team is gonna hate you, but your teammates are gonna love you. So 94 perimeter defense, you get like Hall of Fame 94 feet, Hall of Fame ankle braces, Hall of Fame challenger, fast feet on gold. I thought this was Hall of Fame, but fast feet on gold, peak dodger gold, Hall of Fame workhorse, and Hall of Fame off ball pest. For the steal, we're gonna move this all the way up to a 96. Now, I wish I had like a 99, but with the 96, you get Hall of Fame Interceptor. So you're gonna be in those lanes going crazy. Right stick ripper on Hall of Fame. If you if you really want the like the max potential of this build, you wanna be the best of the best. I would learn how to use right stick ripper if I were you. Cause this is like this is OD. I ain't gonna lie. If you learn how to use this. It starts to get a little crazy with the on ball steal. So if you want to be a spammer, you know what I'm saying? Learn how to use this. Why am I, yo, why am I saying that, bro? I'm making the community worse by saying that. Yo, don't, bro, don't spam, man. H have some humanity, bro. Do not be spamming, bro. But if you do, you know what I'm saying? Learn how to use this badge. It'll change your life. For the block, we have an 87 block. So we get anchor on silver, pogo on silver, and gold chase on. For the interior defense, we're going to move this up to a 73 just so we get the anchor on silver. Now, lastly, for the rebounding, we're going to move this up to 60 just so we get rebound chaser. We can help out with the rebounds a little bit. And all around, the defense is just a 10 out of 10. I ain't going to lie. The defense is crazy. But now that we have amazing defense, we got to make sure we're not a liability on offense. So for the pass accuracy, we're going to move this up to a 75 just so we can make you know, simple passes. Get the point guard or whoever is iso and whoever is supposed to have the ball we, we're gonna get them the ball so 75 pass accuracy no this build is not gonna be dribbling you're gonna be playing all the defense you're not gonna have to worry about offense well as far as i like dribbling you're gonna be a very good catch and shooter why do i say that because you have a 76 three-pointer and a 87 mid-range so you're a pure lockdown with Tracy McGrady base like you have a good jump shot you have access to good jump shots and you're a pure lockdown so not only should you be playing amazing defense but you're gonna be chicken from the corner from the wing wherever you're spotting up from now for the free throw move this up to a 90 you know what I'm saying just in case you want to play rec or pro am lastly let's go over the finishing you're gonna have an 80 
three standing dunks so you get like silver fast twitch silver rise up we all know how overpowered standing dunks are and this build gets very good standing dunks it also has a 65 driving dunk which might not seem crazy but you do get a few good animations with the 65 i think you get two or three that are really good so you could do driving dunks or you could do standing dunks i would suggest just going up to the rim and you know abusing the standing dunks but you can you know say if you're if you're driving to the rim it's a wide open lane you know saying you could dunk that thing so you could finish you could shoot you could pass and most importantly you could play black air force od 10 out of 10 defense i ain't gonna lie like you're gonna be a menace to society i mean the build is called a defensive menace for a reason like i keep saying it but you know say comparisons to Derek white you know herbert jones you know, like those are perfect comparisons because this build right here is a defensive guy but but hopefully you guys do like this build i would definitely suggest it if you want to be a defensive player but now it's time to move on to the fifth and final build of the video all right now time for the fifth build of today's video we talked about two iso builds the two-way slasher playmaker and the slasher playmaker we talked about a small guard if you want to be a small guard you want to score all the points we talked about pure lockdown so now i'm sure I'm, I'm gonna drop a fun you know say a fun rare build that is actually really good you know most rare builds are not the best but this rare build right here has a very unique play style and is actually very very solid i actually really do enjoy playing on this build the build i'm talking about is the two-way point center now this is a center that can like literally play point guard like in the name it's a point center you know what i'm saying like this is a point center and uh it's just so good like just imagine your popper right just imagine like a popper and then he started dribbling imagine a popper dribbling and throwing dots it has a high pass accuracy starting off at center position six seven is the height might seem a little small but once we get to the attributes uh hopefully i can convince you that six seven is perfectly fine for a center i know it seems very small for a center but trust me you will definitely be able to hold your own for the weight we're gonna move it down by one 242 pounds with a max wingspan make sure you copy the physicals just like they are on the screen all right now i ain't gonna lie i'm like i'm losing my voice making this video bro this is the most i've talked in a video in a long time bro like, there's a lot of talking bro so i'm low-key losing my voice but we're gonna start off with the physicals 99 stamina 83 vertical we need a high vertical so we can jump for the rebounds 90 strength so i'm saying we can hang with the big dogs down the paint you know gold brick wall gold immovable forcer you can get more badges like i think you get hall of fame physical handles which is crazy but yeah i know go through the attributes 73 acceleration for silver blow by and an 84 speed so you gonna be faster than all the other centers and all the other power forwards the bigs so are gonna be faster than all of them all right where should we start off Let, let's just start off from the finishing for the finishing you get an 80 driving dunk which is very solid you get an 85 standing dunk which is extremely good you get badges like silver rise up silver fast twitch gold aerial wizard and silver precise dunker so all around you can finish very nicely on this build you also get 66 so you hit your open layups you have really good driving dunk animations you have really good standing dunk animations the finishing on this build is very good now for the shooting you have a 77 three-pointer now that might scare a few people but i would suggest you actually watch the the full build video on this build like i was shooting very consistently on this build and i do give you guys the jump shot in the two-way point center build video so if you want my jump shot for a 77 three-pointer definitely go check that out but I also want you guys to keep in mind the 77 three pointer, the 62 mini 57 free throw. That's like the only iffy thing about this build. Once I show you the playmaking and defense, you're gonna be, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The shooting is the only thing you have to worry about. Once you get the shooting down, this will be probably one of your best builds to play on. I ain't gonna lie, like this build is extremely fun. The matchups you get with this build, you're, you're gonna have nothing but centers guarding you. So you could just cook them, I ain't gonna lie. So a 77 three-pointer, all you're gonna have to do is hit your open shots. Most of your shots are gonna be wide open. So if you can hit a wide open shot, you're gonna be good, bro. I'm telling you right now, like this build is very fun if you could just learn how to shoot. 
Now for the pass accuracy. This is why people are going to want you to play point guard on the center build. You have an 89 pass accuracy. This is enough for like Bello on bronze, gold dimer, gold break starter. So you could throw like dots down the court, all the way down the court. You know what I'm saying? Gold special delivery, gold relay passer, silver needle threader. And most importantly, you get the Tyrese Halliburton pass animation. So your passes on this build are going to be top tier. Amazing. Like it's going to be amazing. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be very solid. For the ball handle, you're going to have an 86 ball handle. I mean, bro. You're a center with Kemba Walker escape move. So you're gonna be moving like a like a ISO point guard, bro. You're like you're gonna be moving on a center build. This build is crazy. Now for the speed of ball, we gotta move this up to a 76. Now normally I'll keep it at 75, but if you keep it at 75 speed of ball, for some weird reason you won't get point center as a build name. So I just caught that I, I don't know, I just thought that was kind of lame. So you know, move this up to a 76. We get the LeBron James dribble style. So six are extremely good on this build. And you're a center. I, I probably said that like 40 times, but like, come on, man. Like this build is so unique and fun. But now for most importantly, the defense. Because you're going to be hanging with the big dogs down low. So you're going to need very good defense. Starting off with the interior defense, we'll move this up to an 87. So you get very good animations when you're contesting people in the paint. Remove the perimeter defense up to a 75 so you get clamps on um, bronze. Move the block up to an 87 so you get very good block animations. And uh, you have anchor on silver. You're going to have pogo stick on gold once we finish the, the rebounding. And you're going to have chase out artists on gold. So the blocks on this build are very, very solid. But for the rebounding, you get a 60 offensive rebound. Nothing crazy, but you get a 90 three defensive rebound this will give you hall of fame box out beast gold pogo stick and gold rebound chaser so all around you get blocks you play good perimeter and interior defense you get a ton of rebounds like if you if you go watch the video of the point center bro i'm like averaging like 20 rebounds in rec games like i really be horsing people but you get so good defense good rebounding good physicals you could throw dots, you could dribble, you could finish. You just gotta worry about the shooting. If you could hit a wide open shot, you're gonna be incredible on this build. If you could just hit a wide open shot, you're gonna be a, a god on this build. But that's gonna do it for the fifth and final build. As you can see, the build name is called a two way points center. You know what I'm saying? As you can see. This is one of, if not the most rare builds in NBA 2K24, and it's actually really solid. So not only is it a good build, but it's super unique. You know, I hope I see a bunch of two-way point centers running around after this video drops, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna do it for my top five builds in NBA 2K24. I have like 15 builds on this game. So there's like 10 builds I haven't even showed you, but those were my top five. All five builds that I showed you today's video are extremely like they're amazing bro i ain't gonna lie they're some of the most fun builds i ever played on in nba 2k like in general like all time those five builds are extremely fun to play on so you definitely won't be disappointed if you decide to make one of them but that being said hope you guys have a blessed day and peace